Hi, um, the last couple of days we've been working with part whole models, which are sometimes called um, part part whole models. Um, the key thing to remember with a part whole model is that we have a whole and then we have our two parts and our two parts add up to make the whole, which is our total. So for example, if I had five as my whole, my parts could be one and four because one plus four is equal to five. If I had three as my whole, I might have one and two as my parts, because two plus one is equal to three. We can use part whole models to do lots of different questioning. So for example, if I have three there, what could my parts be? Or if I have one and four there, what do I know my whole is. You can also do more complicated ones. For example, if my whole is five and one of my parts is one, what is my other parts? And this is in preparation for doing missing number problems later on in school. Now you don't need to have Numicons to do this, you can do it with anything. So here's one example. I've just drawn some circles on the piece of paper, but you will always see the parts are leading from the hole. So I have my hole here, I have five pens, and I'm going to divide them up into two parts. So a five is split into two and three. So my hole was five, my parts are three and two do them with pieces of paper. Again, my hole is here. It doesn't matter which way round it is. It's just important to remember that my parts are coming off my hole. So here I have part, one part which is four and one part which is three. And that means I know that my hole is seven. Here are two challenges for you. First of all, can you work out what the missing part is? And second, how many ways can you split the blue dots into their two parts? Good luck.